A lot of users of digital devices would say that having a power bank is a very useful and handy thing. And they are right. With a power bank, you can charge your mobile phone or tablet with a low battery. However, now there are power banks with many more functions. Manufacturers have started to offer power banks which not only can recharge your electronic devices, but also can start a car engine with a dead battery. We were naturally rather skeptical when we heard about this at first, which is why we decided to review one of them. This is a T7 jump starter. The package includes the manual, the jump starter itself, a universal 4-in-1 cable for charging various devices with the following connectors, lightning, like an iPhone 5 or 6, a 30-pin connector for older Apple devices, micro-USB, and mini-USB. A power adapter to charge the T7 jump starter from a wall outlet. A car power adapter to charge the jump starter from a car's 12-volt cigarette lighter. And alligator-type power clamps designed for starting the car engine. You can use them to connect in parallel to the car battery. The jump starter has a high quality and solid design. It feels good to hold in your hand. There are no gaps and everything is well attached. Some of its features include a 12 volt outlet for starting a car, this socket for charging the T7 jump starter, two USB outputs, one of them with one amp of current, another with 2.1 amps of current, a charge level indicator, and an LED flashlight. Here is the only control button. If you press it once, the charge level indicator lights up and these two USB ports become active. The 12 volt output is always active. Press and hold this button to turn on the flashlight. The flashlight is really bright. There are three operating modes. It has a constant light, a blinking light, and a fast blinking light mode. To turn the flashlight off, press and hold the button again. Now let's test the power bank. First of all, we'll try connecting a cell phone to it. We'll take the multifunctional cable, connect one end to the power bank, and the other to a cell phone. Let's select the connector we need. In this case, it's a micro USB input. Now press the button. As you can see, the phone started charging. But this is all very simple. The T7 jump starter has much more up its sleeve. Now, let's test the T7 jump starter for real. Here we have a car with a dead battery, so it won't start. I'll demonstrate. As you can see, there is complete silence under the hood, aside from the solenoid on the starter clicking. This car has a 1.8 liter diesel engine. If this device can start this car, it will have no problem starting other cars with 2.3 or 2.4 liter gasoline engines in the same conditions. So, let's begin. First of all, connect the clamps. It is very important to make sure you correctly connect the cables according to polarity. Red is positive and black is negative. Make sure you check the connection. Now connect the cables to the T7 jump starter. Here you have no chance to mix up the polarity. Everything's connected. Let's try to start the engine. Oops, we can't do that without a key. Awesome, it works. Amazing. Let's try one more time. What can I say? It works. 
In spite of the skepticism I had, I have to admit that this device really works. It can help you in a difficult situation. Moreover, you can use it as a regular power bank. If this video was helpful to you, make sure you like it below and subscribe to our channel. Have a nice day. See you in the next videos.